What is up boys welcome back to the channel it's your boy Anirudh and today in this video we are going to install the push to start button that we bought from wish.com and in case you have not seen the unboxing video yet I will put the links to that video in the description now let's talk about what all do we need for this installation this is everything uh, I'll need for this installation first of all a multimeter in case you don't have the correct wiring diagram for your car then you will need this to find out the live wire and, uh, and the starter wire Secondly, you will need any kind of blade or wire cutters to splice into the wires. After that, uh, we will need solder iron and solder wire to solder the joint. I will solder all the joints because I don't want any shorts or any wires to go loose in the future. If you are doing it one time, then do it correctly. After that, you will need electrical wire to insulate all the solders we made. And lastly, the panel. So this is how the panel looks, the on and off button and the starter button, it comes with extra wires, the hardware to mount this on the dash and the relay. Before going into the car and splicing all the wires, we will wire this relay and all the wires so that when we go inside the car I just have to tap into the two wires that is the starter wire and the live wire and the ground for this. So let's start. Okay, so as you can see, I have taped up this light because it is not very necessary and it, it is just two wires I can solder it later on. Uh, one wire will go to the ground and one wire will go to the live point. So this might be looking very confusing right now, but it is very simple. One wire will go to the number four, which is for the power. From number 3 it will go to the relay, we will have to tap the wire into the ignition wire. These two, 1 and 2 screws are for the light of the push start. So we will begin by connecting these two terminals which are for the ground. So I'm using a blue cable to bridge from the toggle switch to the push to start button. Now I'm using the red cable for the live terminal. I have to tap this into a live wire. Now I'll use the black one for the ground. Now to light up the push to start button. I have cut a small piece, now I will bridge this from number 4 to the number 1 port. Everything is complete, now I will attach the relay. Ground cable into the second terminal which is just for the ground as you can see. It's time for the live wire. Now Finally, the starter, the ignition cable. Now also the main ignition cable that I have to tap into the starter wire. So we are inside the car now and I have got everything that I need. The ignition panel, the tool. Let me show you what happens. My car is start right now and look at the key. I can take it off. That is one of the reason why I'm installing this. The other reason being sometimes the accessories and the lights do not come on and I have to wiggle in the key and shake the key barrel. So that's kind of irritating. We'll start off by taking these two covers off so that the key barrel can get exposed and I can reach all the wirings behind it. So let's begin by taking this part off. As you can see now everything is removed and here is the key barrel and here are all the wires coming to the key switch. All these wires go to a connector back there. Now I have to find which wire is a live wire and which wire is the starter one. So to find out set your voltmeter to 20 volts. Give a good ground 
so to find the live wire stick it in one terminal so we have six so we'll start over by one and so we'll stick it in and turn on the key to on okay so as you can already tell this is a live wire as it's already showing 2.4 and when we when it's on on position it still shows 12 so to find the ignition cable stick the positive end in a terminal and then we have to crank it to the start position so the basic is the terminal which receives power only when the car is turned on it is the ignition cable so i will test each cable out and find the ignition cable so I have found the ignition cable, so let's crank it on. Here you go. Now I know this one is the live one and this one is the ignition. Let's splice the cables in and test it out. So an update, I have plugged in all the wires, the live wire, the starter cable. I have tapped the fuel pump onto the on position of the toggle switch so when I turn the toggle on everything every accessory should come on for now I'm just trying it with the fuel pump so that the car can turn on so let's try it out let's test it out it's working let's try to shut it out Yep, everything is working now. Now all I have to do is tap all these accessory wires to the on position of the toggle switch. Find a place to mount this on the dash. So for the mounting spot, I don't have much space. This is empty space but it doesn't fit here. Overall, it is very jam-packed and I don't have a place. All I have is this but I don't want to lose this. I keep my stuff over here. Here also it is nothing, all the space I have is just here so I'll take this inside and we'll find a good spot for it. So we are inside now and here is our dash piece, I have cleaned it now, we'll see where I can mount this. Actually I'm planning to not use the panel itself and take these three off and just directly place it into the dash. That way it will look a lot more cleaner and also the panel is straight as you can see and my dash has a little curvature so it won't sit flush but so i'll take these three off and directly place it into the dash so i'll start off by taking these three off i've marked some guidelines with the help of a tape now i'll use this as a template to mark the circles and then I'll make holes. So I'm using my soldering iron to make holes into this. Actually I don't recommend this but if you don't have any other power tool then you can use it but also it might ruin the tip of your soldering iron but mine is interchangeable and I have spares so I can do this now let's start so always remember to take the plastic out slowly as once you have taken it out you can't put it back So I have completed these four. Now I'll start mounting these switches. So it's complete now. I finish by making the wiring a bit more tidy. Finally, soldering these joints. Also, I need to tap three wires from the on position of the toggle switch to power all the accessories. So let's fix. So I have completed the solder. 
soldering and I have insulated all the wires. These three are the accessory wires. This one is the light, this one is the ground, this one is the ignition. Now we will go inside the car and connect all of these. So I am finally inside the car. It is raining very badly as you can tell and it is very late. Actually it have been two days since I am working on this and I am very tired of this so I will just finish it today and tomorrow morning we will go for a drive. We will start off by taking this cover off and start tapping it. So I have stripped all the wires, now I will start placing all the wires from the panel. I have wired everything, I have not yet soldered anything because I want to be sure before putting everything back. Let's try it out for the first time. Yep, everything works. Let's see if it starts. Yes. Completed all the insulation and all the joints. And in case you were wondering where did the relay go, actually the relay was just straight away hot wiring the car. It means when I connected it, it started the car right away. And in case you were wondering about the wire colors, and if you have a Hyundai accent, then the black blue thick one is the live wire, the black yellow one is the starter wire and rest of the three are the accessories wire. So it is the third day of the installation, now everything is complete and back on, now it's time to see how it actually looks. for making it till the end of this video and if you enjoyed make sure to leave a like and if you are not subscribed consider subscribing and i'll see you in the next one till then stay savage